Hey, yo, Detroit, man, what's good? Welcome to DDS, the voice of Detroit. I don't hear what the people say. I say what the people hear. And this week is Detroit's Got Talent Week. So, you know, I got to keep it real. We in this motherfucker with the heart of the streets. Be sealed, man. What's good, guy? What's up, bro? I appreciate you for, ha appreciate you for having me. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, I hear you, man. Shit. I'm glad to hey. have you on. Now, I know you've yeah. been putting a lot of work lately, man. I've been watching you, following you. Yeah, shit hot. You on fire right now. Now, uh, let's start off with where you from? I'm from Joy Road, bro. I grew up on Joy Road. I moved over there when I was like uh, when I was like 12 in like 2000, right before the Y2K. Okay, okay. So okay. I moved over there in 2099. But before that, I'm from like third, you know, third street, Joy Road. But I be, I'm a floater. No, I got. Sure. You feel know, the city with it. <laughs> yeah, I got cousins. I got cousins on the east side. So I got some uh I got a lot of seven mile ties. I got family that was a grew up on the east side and no doubt. You know what I'm saying? So no, I lean no, on my fuck with my people, so you know. No doubt. So how was life growing up in Detroit? Uh I mean Detroit, Detroit, man, you know. Detroit a man your business type of city, man. Everybody think Detroit so yeah. This and that, but every everywhere don't give you the same results, man. If you in motherfuckers business and you doing snake shit, you know what I'm saying? No doubt, real shit. Real so Detroit, shit. I mean, it was it was, you know what I'm saying? I went through the normal shit growing up, hard times, like you know. But you know, my mama took care of me. You know what I'm saying? I was sheltered and she kept me out of trouble back, until back. until I wanted to get in my own trouble. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> yeah. <That's> straight up. <laughs> Yeah, right, yeah. so how long how long have you been rapping and what got you started uh man i've been rapping on and off probably like 10 years honestly just i started with one of my cousins that passed man okay you no know, long live him my cousin nard and shit he from the, one of my seven mile cousins you know what i'm saying okay. he's seven mile okay Rip i started with him it was like he had a little plan he you know what i'm saying he started that shit with us, and we had a little group, Low B, Last of a Dying Breed, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And we did a little something, but we ain't really, he had the plan, but we ain't really take it too, we ain't really take it serious as I've been taking it like the last two years. So. Okay. okay. The answer to that question, I, really <laughs> that I feel like I've really been doing it for two years, bro, like, okay. honestly. Serious. Bro. Yeah. You serious? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. Now this, that's how this fuck in the studio, my bad. All right, so now, boom. At what point did you start to take it serious? So that was two years ago. Well, what made yeah. you start taking it serious two years ago? What was the uh, what was the fuel behind it? Damn, that nigga again. I mean, cause that he passed. Okay. So you wanted to keep that legacy going. He passed, and I just, you know, it's time. For, I wanted to, and then it was time for me to change my life. So I wanted to do something positive, other than. You know what I'm saying? Try to get away from the shit I've been doing, bro. Some legal and you know. No doubt, no doubt. I'm okay. just doing music and focusing no. on that. Okay, okay. Now, do you feel that growing up in Detroit had any influence on your music? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. This Blade, hey, you know this Blade City, man. Oh, I you, I swear, look. Blade <laughs> All that shit on your channel. Like me and you, we don't know each other from a can of paint, but the yep. BMF niggas and yep. just the influence of the stunners and you know what yeah. I'm saying? All day, all day. Yeah, the, I know there's like the glitz and Detroit rappers, right? Even when I was rapping back in the day. Now you had your niggas who would write this shit down, be typing on the phones while you smoke and listen to the beat. But most Detroit rappers can come in that studio and just off experience of what happened that day and come in that bitch and drop some crack right there. Now, too many people can't do that because in Detroit, you pretty much got to be living that shit for a nigga to even listen to you, pay attention to you. So that's really? why. I go, yeah, yeah. I that's think that's why. That's a, true story. that's a true story with a nigga telling a true story, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Hey, well, listen, I know you used to rap, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I rap with all. Um, I was signed to Floss a lot uh, in the zone records. Back in the day, I didn't rap with everybody hey, from. Uh, it's a small world. We might need you to start back rapping, my baby. I noticed your interview, but we might need you to start back rapping, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I didn't rap everybody, man, from uh the Locks, Rock Bottom, Uncle Sam, all them motherfuckers. I didn't rock with everybody. I live wow. out there from uh 
98 to 2006 or some shit. About six okay. years ago, I dropped some little shit, but I ain't been active. But uh, all right, bro. I definitely got a deep uh, love for the Detroit rap scene because I've been in it. You know, I know okay. how that shit go. So now, okay. do you feel, my bad, what makes a good artist great? I feel like you can be good with no experience, but to be great, you have to suffer a little bit more. How do you feel about that? Uh, You can be good with a great experience, but to be great, you got to suffer a little bit more. I mean... I mean, it's like the, uh, I guess it gives the music the realness and makes the music more genuine. Uh, yeah. Know. Yeah, yeah. So what's your thoughts on but, that? I mean, some people can be great in their own right, though, OG. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's some people out here, like me, I feel like I'm great. But my, you know how many people ain't heard my shit, though? Like, some people great and don't even get heard, though. Like, Where? so that's kind of a hard question for me to answer, like. Cause I feel like, I feel like it, in this city, it's like, it's about being around the right people. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause some of these, cause some of the hottest, cause, cause you asking me a question, and then I'm like, some of the hottest people, OG, not great. <laughs> they not. They not. <laughs> you know, like some of the hottest niggas, they're not great. Like, they just. Them boys wavy, they got the juice like shit. Whatever guy was on their side at the time, they the around the right niggas. Yeah. Some niggas get around the right niggas and shoot off to the moon. Uh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I had a so, guy on here. I had a guy on here. He's not a rapper. He's an uh, actor. Sean Salisbury. Now he in the movies. Now this nigga, just out of nowhere, moves to California. He out having some mm. lunch his first week down there in Hollywood, mm. and a chick walk up on him and say, "Man, you got the look we need." And he ended up being in that Mark Wahlberg movie. Um, damn, I can't think of. Anyway, that was it. He took off from there. He was gone. Now he produced some movies. So sometimes so, it's kind of who you know. And she you said you have... he, he never acted, never acted in no school, never been in no movies. And she turned that nigga into a superstar overnight. Easy. It's just about a motherfucker seeing it in him and seeing it in you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I done put out like five artists through my little distro kid, like. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just did. I ain't just put on me. I done put out like five other artists through my distro kid. Like I ain't put them in a studio or whatever, but I helped them put that music on the platform. The little guy, they just the little guys that's lost, running around listening to their phone, listening to their music. And I'm like, bro, I can help you put that out. Like, no doubt. And I, you know what I'm saying? So, I think the most important thing with this shit, bro, is like a nigga look at Boss Man D'Lo and say, oh, he took off overnight because he got on that little podcast. He didn't. That nigga been grinding for about seven years, for real, for real. Okay. Kid, I don't know. Shit. Yeah, so all you got to do, if a nigga stay dedicated to his craft consistency, he going to eat. He going to win. You got to stay in it because you might quit today and your opportunity tomorrow, but you done fucked that up. You got to stay consistent, no matter what. Okay. Hey, I'm fucking with Boss Man D-Lo, too, bro. Yeah, niggas, talk about his, niggas talk about his little rap. Man, I'm fucking with that shit. <laughs> I like that nigga, man. You know, he ain't it's, got no one it's not, it's off, but that shit be hot. hot. The yeah. bitch hot. It's hot. It's all fine. <laughs> okay, it so is. now, with Detroit on the rise, over the past few years, what adjustments do you think we made from 20 years ago to now to finally get our notoriety and make the big impact that we're making on music right now? When it, that we made? I mean, yeah, it's what, just... What, what adjustments have we made to get us our notoriety? It's just there been a lot of guys to kick the doors on for us. Like, I'm gonna say it started with T. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna go around T. T oh, started this shit. Yeah, he did it for real. No doubt. Yeah, and, and you know exactly what I'm talking about because all I said was T. You, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, like I said, it started shit, with really T though. You know what I'm saying? Whatever these boys got going on, it ain't in my business. But I know where it started with T. Kicked the door down and. Damn, pretty much took off. Yeah, that got us in there. That shit kind of started with T, and then. Yo, baby, my baby, that east side nigga, that boy Doug over there, he just he going, got the life. He got, got the life on this bitch. Oh, you know what I'm saying? He going dumb, Ray. Rio, I can't wait till he touch back down. He going Rio, stupid. He going to kill him when he touch down. It's like, yeah, these, niggas, these niggas going to do that. Hey, this shit crazy how the Detroit is shit now. Like, niggas going to do that jail time and coming. Hey, these niggas coming back home and getting on. It's like real life, uh... Yeah. Like how you be with these, like real industry shit though, bro. Like damn, these niggas, bro, these niggas like, like Tupac. 
It's something magical about prison in Detroit, especially. Man, yeah, you touch your ass in prison, boy, you're going to be a, a superstar motherfucker when you touch back. These niggas, you should have niggas come home like Tupac and, boy, you know, I love him. They going to be, he was already that nigga, though, you feel me? That guy. Yeah, that's why I'm dropping him this week on Detroit Raw. I got to fuck with my nigga Rio. Now, Shout out um, to that boy. He's going to go when he come home for sure. Off the top. <laughs> now, where do you see Detroit rap? The Detroit rap scene in the, in the next five years. Where do you see in the, the next, Detroit rap scene? In the next five years, I see us all the way in, man. I might, I mean, I, it might take, or it might take the whole five, honestly. Yeah. Because honestly, I'm looking at like how I got up on you, just watching YouTube and moving around on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. And looking at niggas' interviews, bro. I'm watching academics the other day. I'm watching academics the other day. It's somebody on there talking about they used to manage Peasy. Yeah. But they speaking on Detroit. Yeah. You know, this a nigga, this a nigga that used to manage Meek or be with Meek or whatever. Okay. Okay. So he like, yeah, I used to manage PZ from Detroit, Blase School. I say, damn, that go off. I, I'm watching something else. You know what I'm saying? I smoke a lot of weed. I'm trying to think. I was watching something else though. And it was just like the same little thing. Somebody talking about Detroit, like I'm watching uh He's like, that's them Detroit boys. I'm watching Nori. I'm watching Nori. I'm watching uh, Nori on some Nori. What he got? The drink chap. I'm, I'm watching drink chap. I'm watching drink chaps, and they was interviewing somebody. Them niggas shouted out the Detroit boys, like, oh yeah, that's them Detroit boys. Yeah, I'm you a, ain't just, pushing, dog. I've been hearing it's that just shit Detroit. It's, it's, it's just Detroit. Up. It's it's step by step. Everything like you just everything is step by step, and us being consistent. It's going to lead us to the motherfucking top. The top, to the threshold. Oh, it's it, it, oh, going to lead us there. You know what I'm saying? No, and then no. you can, and the, and the motherfucker that's looking can see it. Yep, yep. A motherfucker right. that's looking and got any type of common sense can see it. If you watch entertainment TV, they talking about Detroit, like Detroit. Oh, Detroit. But they not You got to even give credit to Nate Bonecraft. He put okay. Detroit on the map a few months ago and went stupid. So Who is all that? that shit, any attention we can get is beautiful. Any attention is good attention, bro. Yeah, I, swear, I was telling my nigga, I was telling one of my homies that the other day, like, boy, <laughs> any attention, good attention, as long as you do the right shit with it. Yeah. It be no about doubt. what you do with the attention too, though. No doubt, it is, it is, it is. Yeah. You gotta stay on that gas. You gotta okay, be working. So now, most importantly, now let's get into some what we came for. Let's talk about your upcoming projects. Tell us about it. Oh man. I just dropped some, bro, like two days ago with my man. Uh, I just dropped some with my man Bo, whatever. It was a little joint table, three sons. It's some good music, just good music. You know what I'm saying? But I, I know you talk about it. I got a big, I got some big coming with Sada. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting <laughs> on it. That's a weird. Yeah. So I that got that. I know you. Sada, I'm baby, sitting. Yeah. On, I got that. I got it in my back pocket. I can let you hear it right now. I got it. It's mine. Now, listen, you know what I'm saying? That's what we was gonna ask you. Now we want to hear a hot little snippet of it. We don't want you to leak too much. We either need a snippet of that, or we need you to drop some bars on this motherfucking four to six of them right now. Either way you want to do it. How can I give you a snippet of it while we on here, though? Like, oh, oh it's crazy. I can give you a snippet. Hey, listen, man. I, should... <laughs> I swear, listen, I already do. Should I do, like, man, should I do this? <laughs> yeah, just a little snippet. We don't want to give them too much because we don't want to take away from the fire that's about to come. But most importantly, we want to snip it first here, right here on DDS. The first glance. Let's see if you can hear it. My my speaker ain't too good on her. Can you hear me? Yep. Ah, uh, I can't. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't give y'all too much, bro. But that's I it, that's that all we need. That's all we need. All right, can you hear it though? You yeah, can hear yeah, it. I, it. Right, I got that bitch, bro. I don't want to be like this perfect ass. I don't want you to be like this perfect ass nigga. I got that bitch. I just no. I just, it's just hey, listen, we. Hey, listen. This the crazy thing about that when he sent it to me. I mean, when I when I when I got the little play when I got the play to put it together, and he sent it to me. You know, I almost dropped that bitch immediately. Like, oh, I almost acted like no, I almost acted like a kid. I almost dropped it, but I'm like, whoa! I been, I have been doing, I have been doing so much other shit, bro. Yeah, I ain't yeah. want to, I ain't want to just grab that bitch in, yeah, and then yeah. throw off what I was doing. I wanted to throw off what I was doing, and I've been working with niggas and trying to 
So I, yeah. you know, I'm going to take care of my business and, no and then, you know, I'm going to get to that. I got that. Like, that bitch going to drop crazy whenever you drop that. That's a fact. Yeah, I'm going to give it to him, though. Like, but I'm going to put some other shit around it. Like, I have been talking to Doughboy Clay. Like, you know what I'm saying? I need, I feel like I need that from him. So, and I don't want him to think I'm prepping. I'm going to get back with him. You feel me? I just, okay. the money wasn't there. I'm some real nigga shit. Sometimes yeah. you got to tell a nigga, like, the money wasn't there. I ain't nobody yeah, about you know to be running. Right uh, interviews. They got fumbled on myself for these niggas ask me all these crazy ass prices. Nigga, we on the phone. I'm not about to pay you no in studio price. Fuck you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on something. I'm gonna a... Hopefully, I'm gonna have Project Pat on this bit. Now, I just talked to him this morning, so well, I'm negotiating with this clown. So he don't try to he don't try to text me. Detroit, he gonna be on this thing next month. Project Pat exclusive. No, that's big. Now let's move to um, who is your favorite Detroit artist of all time and why? Of all time, yep. Damn, bro, Blade, man. Yeah, Blade. Why? Like, I'm gonna say why, cause it just was so much. It just so much that came with him, like his name, his name, his conglomerate. It just was big, like it was crazy. But Blade, it was phenomenal. Just like. This black yeah. like you know what I'm saying, the range just you know he made shit be no like just stunting, yeah. bro. He put us on the map. He uh he put us he was on doing that shit with he was fucking with Burr, man and them like it yeah, just was yeah. he fucked with E40 you yeah. know always down there for them boys. They that was shit was big. He yeah. All he, them boys. He, he stayed with the fuck with them boys. It just was some uh that shit was like a big part of history for our uh yeah. our city, you know what I'm saying? That was a crazy time then, too. I remember I like, that's when I was, that. that was that's I when I was in my all prime. Boys coming. Like they I fucked with all them boys coming back then though. Like big yeah, hurt. Yeah. I hate you know what I'm saying? Like, I hated to go around Herc and them though. Like I hated, but I fucked with Herc too. But Blade though was yeah. he had that he had that edge, like he had that shit. I ain't gonna lie, man. If I had to put them two up against each other, I never worked with Blade, I worked with the bottom, but I'm still gonna say, man, street lawyers and I'm gonna have to put them up top. I don't give a fuck. Niggas used to be mad at me. I'll be riding around listening to that shit. Niggas be hating on me. I'll that shit out. And you Man, know what it is? That. It's that spunk that he had that spunk. The boys had that. You know what I'm saying? I hate to say it like my granddad used to say, boy, that boy got that spunk, though. He had it. It just was so. <laughs> I swear. It was so different, man. Him. You listen to that rock bottom, you ready to go rob something. You listen to that blade, you might be spunk. <laughs> you gonna be like, yeah, go pop. you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was a different, was a different yeah. show. Now, if you Bless had to pick, one Detroit artist who you would most want to work with, who would it be and why? Right now? Yep. Uh, right now? Sorry, Skiller. Skiller, yeah, he on fire. That nigga cooking. Yeah, yeah I got yeah. Just because he, he the hottest. He the hottest and he moving around. Then I already got the song with Sada. So yeah, it just make it. So it just makes sense with the look. It yeah. ain't even about. Sometimes motherfuckers be thinking it's something different, but it just really be about the look. It be about making a motherfucking thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. about the look. How to look to the world. You right. feel me? Yeah, that would be beautiful. Look, it and like, it'd be yeah. easier to connect because they fuck with each other. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? yeah, yeah. Okay, so now before we get the fuck up out of here, to the last two questions. Well, you are, we ain't going to ask you to spend no bar. You already gave us a sample. We're going to skip that one. But how okay. can the people follow you? Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Talk to us. Big Seals. I'm Big Seals. Bernardo for Life on IG. Uh, Big Seals on TikTok. Double underscore something. Okay. Seal the deal on Facebook. Okay. Seal the deal on Facebook. And uh, I think I'm Big Seals on Twitter. Okay. Now, yo, YouTube. How can YouTube we subscribe and big. follow? YouTube. That's where I need you. Big Seals. That's where I need y'all at. B I G S E A L S. You know, yep. biggest seal, in, the biggest seal in the water. You hear me? <laughs> you already know. Y'all no, make sure. Oh, uh, hey, I'm already knowing. Y'all make <laughs> sure. Soon as y'all leave this motherfucker, man, go subscribe to that Big Seals channel. Trust me, listen to me, niggas. Oh. It's going crazy. I, if I'm vouching for it, you know it's on fire. Cause I ain't gonna lie. But it is too. Seal visuals, y'all. Google, look me up, man. You know. Uh, day. The biggest seal in the motherfucking water. Before we get out of here, I got a random question. I gotta ask you. 
I just get these bitches randomly. Your question for the day. What's the longest you ever ate some pussy? Mm, the longest? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I probably the middle of one probably been down that bitch going crazy. I'm talking about <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think though, like bitch, I let me let no, cause sometimes you gotta show a bitch like no nah, bitch, I like you. Let me yeah, show yeah, you. Yeah. Uh I'm thinking maybe five, six minutes. No, oh, I'm not damn near. <laughs> sure. <laughs> five minutes though. I've probably been out there five minutes. That's a long ass time That's to be a long ass time. I don't hey, give a fuck. Like, uh, five minutes. Five minutes. You take that five minute ride, boy. You gonna be tired to the motherfucker. I'm tired for five minutes, bitch. I love you. You so special to me. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Y'all know what it is, nigga. The biggest seal in the water, motherfucker. <laughs> DDS. Ah. We out this bitch, baby. Y'all already like know. that. Off top, my man.